It's a vape team shirt, but this isn't the vape team media channel, so we'll just kind of cover that up with my hair. Hey everybody, it is Vaping Cookie. I know. It's time to draw a winner for the contest. I will do that at the very end of this video, but I figured instead of doing a weekend vape video, because I have a lot of videos, hopefully, that will get edited and out to you guys that are topic related and, you know, vaping equipment and things, I wanted to do a little bit of a different video. This is a tag video. In the beauty community, which was what I was a part of before vaping took over <laughs> my whole life, I did tag videos quite a bit, and I thought this one was a really fun one. My friend Brooklyn Hudson did this video, and she tagged me to do it as well. So Brooklyn, I'm going to go ahead and include all of your information in that video below, so anybody who wants to see your responses can just click there and go right through. Thank you for tagging me to do this. This was really cool. Okay, so it's the five things you didn't expect when you quit smoking challenge. That's quite a name, isn't it? <laughs> but there were plenty of things that I did not expect to happen when I quit smoking. Let me first start by saying I didn't really expect to quit smoking. I, I always used my husband as my excuse. I always said, well, James is not going to ever quit smoking, so I'm not going to ever quit smoking because there's no way I can if he doesn't sort of thing. So <laughs> when he just up and quit, he's not a vapor for anybody who doesn't know that. I tried to just cold turkey quit and I could not. So I tried the gums, I tried the patches, I did all that stuff and it really took e-cigs for me to, to let go of smoking traditional tobacco cigarettes. So first and foremost, the number one thing on my list that I did not expect when I quit smoking, I did not expect to enjoy electronic cigarettes vaping as much as I do. You know, my, my idea of an electronic cigarette was the little cigarette lights that you buy at the store. None of them tasted very good. Not that my cigarettes tasted good, but none of those tasted like cigarettes. I did not expect for flavors to be out there. I didn't expect to be using, you know, devices with nicotine that had great flavors. I did not expect any of that. So the whole world of electronic cigarettes and vaping was mind boggling at first to me, but in a good way. You know, I, I suddenly became, I had always been a closet smoker. So I would go, you know, I'm here at my office now, I would go behind the fence and hide and smoke my cigarette and then come inside and clean up, you know, because I have patients that I work on and I was terrified that they were going to smell cigarette smoke on me, all those things. I was very much a closet smoker. I am now out and proud. <laughs> I did not expect to be suddenly proud and certainly not ashamed of my nicotine addiction. I, oh, I can't tell if this guy's trying to come here. No, he's walking by, we're good. <laughs> but I did not expect to be out and proud carrying my mods around and using my electronic cigarettes everywhere that I go. I did not expect for so many other people to be either closet smokers or closet e-cig users. That was a whole new world to me. And that's number two on my list. I did not expect, number two, I did not expect for vaping to take over my whole life. I did not expect to use, you know, each step of the way. I did not expect to move from a sigalike to an ego. I did not expect to move from an ego to a VAMO to an MVP2. I did not expect the vaping community. It's just, it's taken over my life in a good way. I certainly did not expect to become an advocate for electronic cigarettes. I certainly did not expect to make YouTube videos before I made videos about makeup and I did it as a hobby. It's not anything I made any money on or anything like that. Any money I did make went to charity. And so I did not expect to have a vaping channel ever until I did it. I just wanted to make one video and tell people about something that had really helped me and was saving my life and I felt very strongly about. But I did not expect the whole community that's out there of people. We're all out for the same goal. We just want to get people switched from tobacco cigarettes if they want to. 
did not expect the whole subculture and the conventions and it's I didn't expect to be on the vape team for sure <laughs> all those things that you know vaping has opened a lot of doors for me connected me with amazing people that's just been really really cool and something I would have never expected <laughs> okay number four this one is more health related I had lost I think about 50 pounds, 50 or 60 pounds, I believe, before I stopped smoking. And that was, it was a really big deal to me to quit smoking and gain weight. When James quit, he put on weight and I was terrified that I was going to do that as well. I have not put on any weight, in fact, I have continued to lose. I'm now like 75 pounds down from where I was. I did not expect to be able to continue losing weight even though I quit smoking. To me, I quit smoking. You could say tobacco harm reduction, I totally get that that's our cause. But to me, I gave up smoking and I did not expect for the weight loss to continue. I am so thankful for that. I am so thankful. Okay, so the next one, number four, I think that we're on now. The mine are all kind of bleeding together from my list. Um, <laughs> this one is weird <laughs> to me to me I I don't want you to think with me saying this one that I quite agree with this in fact I notice in a lot of my videos I spend a lot of time arguing with you guys over this one I want to talk about something that is a real phenomenon okay have you ever been to like a comic book convention or you know, I don't know, a sci-fi thing. I'm just using those as examples. If you go to those, please do not take what I'm about to say as offensive. Direct it toward me. <laughs> Being considered vaping hot is very weird to me. I did not expect for that to ever happen. In my day-to-day -day life, you know, here, in reality, like, I don't know. I guess I look better on camera than in real life or something. I don't know. I can't I haven't quite worked this out yet in my mind. But there are people who say things that are very kind and I appreciate them about me being nice looking. That is so weird to me. That is something that I never expected and I don't know, like me just talking to you right now, look, not as cute, right? Watch what happens. suddenly cute. I don't know why vaping makes all of us so much better looking, but it does, right? There is such a thing as vaping hot for, for guys and for girls. I don't know what it is, but I'm glad about it, I guess. It's weird, but... <laughs> so, yeah, that's weird. In my day-to-day -day life, I'm like known as like grainy and, and and nerdy and I'm still known as nerdy within the community that's fine but yeah it's it's weird it's very weird to me to be considered good looking I don't know it's the vaping thing okay so last but not least number five and by far the most important one all joking now aside I did not expect when I quit smoking to become an advocate for vaping. I did not expect that. I have never, first of all, I am not very um, outgoing. I am an introvert, believe it or not. I know that's weird because I sit here in front of the camera and talking to all of you, my friends, I could talk back and forth with you one-on-one. -on -one, I'm really good, Real, I'm really good one-on-one, -on -one, but like crowds and talking to groups and that's not my thing at all. Putting myself out there, on YouTube is hard enough. Going to a convention and broadcasting is really difficult. <laughs> Even, you know, doing the round tables and stuff. I don't know if you've ever seen me like during the broadcast for the vape team, especially in the beginning. I've gotten a little bit better at it over time. I am shy by nature. It's the weirdest thing. I, I just, I am. So the fact that I am becoming an advocate and speaking out about electronic cigarettes is a big deal. It's, it's been good for a lot of things. It's been good in my real life because it's given me um, a lot more confidence to get out there and talk about all sorts of things. Another aspect, I have never been political at all. 
my parents are both very political and I'm sort of anything that they do I'm sort of the opposite I'm a rebel in that way but becoming an advocate as far as politics getting involved on a local level speaking to representatives making phone calls doing things that's not my style I am lazy and introverted by nature <laughs> so I never expected to be on anybody's you know shows to be interviewed to interview other people it's nothing that I ever expected to be sitting in the waiting room of my office in front of a wide glass door talking to a camera is not anything that I ever expected when I quit smoking for sure <laughs> but it's been good for me in so many ways speaking out you know just the act of me carrying one of my mods around and vaping as I'm walking through the parking lot or vaping inside of Walmart discreetly and having a conversation with somebody that knows what it is or just holding it in my hand in the grocery store and somebody comes up to me that's one of those electronic cigarettes and opening up a discussion with someone that I don't know is all brand new to me is taking me so far out of my comfort zone in a good way becoming an advocate making a video where I'm sitting there crying at the end telling you to step up suit up and do something is so far out of the norm for me but in such a very good way it's going to take people like that people like me stepping up and doing something to make changes so you know i am really glad about it but it's something that i really never expected <laughs> robert if you ever watch this video you guys can talk to robert and he will tell you when i went to the vcct over in tampa my first convention I was terrified of everything and everybody in there. I was overwhelmed and I was like, okay, let me just find one person that I know that I feel comfortable with and I like clung to him almost the entire convention when I wasn't filming. <laughs> because I'm just not a group, you know. When you meet somebody like Dimitri, when Dimitri's rolling up in the convention, he's Dimitri. You know what I mean? Like he's walking around, he already knows everybody, he's having conversations, Phil is Phil. I mean, just, he's Phil. He's the same Phil that you watch on the video, that's him. But me, I am, I am really kind of having to push myself every time I make a video. <laughs> I just do, I just, I'm not normally like that. But it has made me, I think, more like that in reality, which has been a good thing. So those are the long and, and, and rambly five things I did not expect. Now, I wanna tag everybody. If you want to do this video, please do this video. You are my friend, you are tagged. It just send it to me and I will be happy to share it around and I just I think it's really fun because these tag videos even though, you know, it might be hard to come up with your answers at first. It was hard for me to kind of come up with five. It's it's a good idea because, you know, the more of these tag videos we have out, the more people find them and you never know. Just by having that word smoking in the you know the title it might introduce vaping to somebody who's never done it before and who might be wanting to make the switch so okay I'm gonna cut out here because I have to go get in front of my computer and I will do the random.org and I will come right back and announce the winner of the contest thank you so much to every single person that shared my FDA video I really appreciate it there are three of you that are gonna win I have no idea who you are yet but watch I'm gonna snap my fingers in a second <laughs> and come back and announce the winner. Ta-da! I am back with my three winners and they are obviously in no particular order. The first one is Strato Blues Man, Chris M, and Angela Mosler. Those are the three winners of the Nick Vape Watermelon Bubblegum. I will put that also in the description box below. You guys, please send me an email from the account that you commented on just so I can, you know, verify that it was you at vapingcookie at gmail.com. And I give you, what, a week? Would that be okay? One week to claim your prize? If not, I will redraw and post that in a future video. Thank you guys so much for watching this tag video. I would love it if you did this tag. If you have any more interesting tags for me, let me know. And I will talk to you guys soon, okay? Have a great week. Bye.